In the current property market, many people are in negative equity. There are people being repossessed right now. They're finding that interest rates are going so high that they can't pay the loan anymore. And there are so many challenges out there. How do you become that person that can create a system where you're not in that situation, where you can really make property investing work? That's what we're discussing right now. And today what I want to discuss with you is loan to value, LTVs. Why loan to value is important to you if you're a new property investor? And why loan to value is important to you if you're an experienced property investor? What should your loan to value be? What is loan to value? How can you use loan to value to your advantage to create your financial freedom through property as a vehicle? I'm also going to be sharing with you the different types of loan to value. Let's jump straight into it. So let me explain what I mean by loan to value first of all. So the loan to value is a ratio. So it's the loan that you borrow against the value of a property. So let's say the value of the property is £100,000. And let's say the loan that you get for that property is £75,000. So your loan against that value is going to be 75% because you can work this out as a percentage. The calculation works like this. So you have the loan, and you divide that by the value, you multiply it by 100, and that will get you the LTV, as it's known, loan to value. So in this instance, it will be 75 divided by 100, multiplied by 100, which gets you, of course, 75%. Now, if you're like me, you're not that mathematical, the mathematics are important, and you can always use a calculator, and that's absolutely fine. Always be using analysis, toolkits, use whatever you possibly can. You don't have to work this all out by yourself. You can make it really simple. Top tip. It's really important that you know this, whether you're a new property investor just starting out or whether you're a seasoned property investor looking for your next level and maintaining what you've actually achieved. Now, there are different levels of loan to values. The first one I want to share with you is 75%. At 75%, you are the most active and at the same time, you are the most de-risked. Now, as the property market changes, you will find that loans that you can get against the value of your property can increase and decrease. So there are times in the past when you've been able to get 100% or 125% a loan against the value of the property. Now that sounds nuts, but that's the truth. That's what it used to be. So my suggestion is the maximum you ever want to go is 75%. Now in this video, there is no financial advice. I'm simply sharing with you as a property investor developer what we do day in, day out from our grounding. That's what we're discussing here, just for clarity. So please make sure you get financial advice from a financial advisor. Now, even in the market, when you can get higher loans, uh, we always wanna stay at that discipline of 75%. And what you're doing is you're not leaving money in your properties. It's not locked in. You can use that capital wisely to buy more properties, to invest in your business. And if you're like me, I say to myself, I'd rather invest in me rather than lock that money into a property that's not working for you. Now, the PRA back in 2017, actually said to the buy to let lenders to create a stress test to make sure that people are doing business correctly. Now, when you get to four properties that are financed, lenders will actually check those values of those properties and they want to stress test, as is known, to make sure that your properties are not over geared, over leveraged. So you haven't got too much of a loan is what I'm saying. Now, this number 75 percent becomes even more important because the lenders will look at this once you get to four properties. Now, of course, you've got to get to four properties you haven't already but please keep this in mind. And if you're at four properties already, well, I hope you're keeping this in mind. So let's jump in and discuss further. The next level is 65 and 50%. Your loan will start to drop because of the market. Now, if you've noticed every 10 years in the property market cycle, in the correct areas, in the correct areas, you will find that prices double. Even when you think the property prices can't double again. I mean, look at what's happening right now in the economy. You know, it's going nuts out there, isn't it? Yet when it comes to property investing, there's a lot of certainty. And what you can find is that the market, every time I've said the prices can't double again, they double again. And it's likely that the market is going to continue to rise. And what you will find is naturally, organically, and it happens to so many people, you will find that your loans will start to drop naturally because the value increases, the loan remains the same. So you are creating a differential there. So your loans become less, don't they, in real terms. So once you get it to 50%, you are now at the most de-risked position you could possibly be. At 50%, you can ride any market wave. You can ride anything that's going on in the economy. You can ride interest rate rises. When I started back in 1989, the interest was 17.5%. I wish I knew this back then, you know, but I had to learn this stuff, which I'm sharing with you right now. Whatever the situation is, 
you can ride that wave and you can be safe and secure at 50%. Now, if you do that too early, well, like what I say, you're gonna leave money on the table. It really depends on where you are in your property journey. I hope you're enjoying these insights. Now, I'd love to hear your comments as well. You can uh, click on that bell icon and get the latest notifications. Even I've worked out where that one is. And you can also subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm doing a number of videos like this, informative to help you to move forward in your property journey. Once you've got your portfolio at around 50%, you could at this point decide to take some of those properties and make them 0%. Now, what's the first property that you do that with? Well, the first property you start with is your own home. Why your own home? Well, your own home isn't an asset that your accountant tells you it's gonna be in 20 years time. Your home is your necessity. This is your peace of mind. This is where you stay. It doesn't matter what the value is because at the end of the day, you're living in the place, aren't you? So when should you have your loan to values at 75%, 65%, 50% and 0%? Well, let's discuss this right now. So if you're starting in property and you're building up momentum and you're creating a portfolio, well then you wanna be at 75% LTV so that you can use your capital wisely. You can invest that into further properties. You can invest that, if you're like me, I like to invest that in me. You invest that money in property correctly. So you minimize the capital that is left in the properties. Now, as the market starts to help you, as the market starts to increase, as inflation increases, the value of the properties go up, your loan to value will drop, and you get to the stage when you're at 65 and 50%. At this point, you have the opportunity to either capital raise or keep the loans where they are. Now, if you're like us at Premier Property, you can use a system that will allow you to decide which of these properties you keep at what percentage. So we use a system which is the 70, 20, 10 system. What that means is you keep 70% of your investment properties at the 75% loan to value. 20% of your property portfolio, you keep it at the 50% loan to value. Remember the most de-risked figure that you can get. And 10% of your portfolio, you get it to zero. And remember, you start with your own home. Think of it like a conveyor belt. You got your 70, you got your 20, and you got your 10% that's gonna be zero. Then what you do is you take that 10% out of the equation, you look at the remainder of your portfolio, and the remainder of your portfolio, you again calibrate it into three sections, 70, 20, 10. And again, the next 10% becomes unencumbered. Now in this way, what you've done is you've created balance across your portfolio, you're leveraged correctly, so you're active, you're de-risked, you're winning faster, you haven't got it wrong, you've got it right, and this is how you can use loan to values to your advantage. In this video, I've shared with you what loan to value is, why loan to value is important to understand, the power of loan to value and what those figures should be as we go along, how you can use the market and inflation and also force up the appreciation in terms of reducing your loan to values and a whole system on how you can use this for your property investing career to create your financial freedom, legacy and a real pension. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why not? I'd love you to be part of our community. So now's the time to like and remember to subscribe. You can do this right now. It's Cameron Vady helping you take your property investing to the next level. I'll see you soon.